Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, um, but we're here. We're doing it. We're we're filming. Um, oh my god, my curls need to settle down a little bit. During the Sephora sale, I got my hands on the Natasha Denona pastel palette. And oh my God, you guys, I have to show you this. It's so freaking cute. I'm so excited for summer. It's going to be chef's kiss. I'm so looking forward to playing with this. I mean, it's so good. So today I really just want to like play with it. I don't know what kind of look I want to do. I have no idea, but it's really pretty outside. I'm in a spring mood. I mean, it feels like summer here, but I'm in a springy mood and I just want to dig into this. Like there are so many cool colors and so many different finishes on these shadows. I love Natasha Denona. I have a ton of her palettes already, really amazing quality. So we're just going to do a little pastel-y makeup look today. Um, I did find a few pictures on Pinterest. I know. I think I'm the only person still using Pinterest. I looked on TikTok and stuff too to kind of get some inspo. Um, I really want to play with like the blue, I think. Like this blue right here. I really want to play with that and maybe like the lavender shades. I don't know. But then that mint is calling my name. But then that peach and pink is also calling my name. I have no no idea literally not one single clue um i'm thinking that i might just do something really classic and easy because there's so many fun colors in here and i just love those blue shades so i am going to start with my base first i think um in my skin i actually have a hefty sunburn going on right now even though i wore sunscreen i don't know the first one of the season um so my skin is really really dry right now so i'm going to just go in with the this isn't the right one because this is mattifying that's the opposite of what i want i'm going to go in with the cover fx water cloud primer um and i'm just going to this is actually a brand new one. Oh, it feels so good I think I want to do kind of like a lighter foundation today. I don't know. Um, but I am going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Cannot do my makeup without this. No matter what level coverage I'm doing, I always start with this and then kind of just like build up dependent on what I'm looking for. I remember when I used to hate this stuff and now I'm obsessed. Um, and I'm just using mine in the shade for medium. So to kind of increase the coverage, I'm going in with a little bit of this Dior Air Flash um, spray foundation. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's such a beautiful finish. And I'm just taking that on like my It Cosmetics foundation brush. And I'm just going to kind of mix that in. So that way we keep the glow of the Charlotte Tilbury primer or Hollywood filter. And then we just have a little bit more coverage, but like not an obnoxious amount and it's just so pretty and glowy and for concealer i'm going to go in with a, another dior product the skin correct concealer i've been obsessed with this stuff lately i cannot get enough of it and i'm just putting a tiny dot right in the inner corner and then just in the outer corner here i've really been kind of loving and then i have some redness around my nose because it's pollen season um, I've really been loving like super, super minimal concealer with like a pretty medium light coverage foundation. I think it just like, it looks so pretty and so fresh. Um, I do want a little bit more coverage because I am doing like a more fun eye look, but my normal like natural base is even less than this lately. Like it's so, so light and minimal. I'm loving it. So I like to let my concealer kind of marinate a little bit. I get the most coverage out of this. Um, and then I'm just going to start buffing that in. Ugh, gorge. So I'm not going to cream contour today because I don't want like a super structured contour. Um, I've been really loving something a little bit more diffused and a little bit softer. But I am going to use a cream blush. Um, this is just the NARS Orgasm. It's a really pretty, just like soft, neutral pink with a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm just going to tap that in. It's very like natural looking. I love this blush. I've actually been having some issues because so does everybody all of a sudden. It got super popular on TikTok. 
and now I can't find it anywhere. And that is not cool because I also carry this product in my uh, professional makeup kit. So it's gonna be a little bit of an issue for me. Blush is always the first thing that fades on my face. So even if I'm not doing like a heavy contour or something, like I always go in with a liquid blush underneath just for that like staying lasting power. I'm just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade one. And I'm really just going to concentrate this on my under eyes, like a very light dusting. And then a little bit in my T-zone as well. This is my favorite powder. As you can tell, I've been through, I think, four of these in the last, like, year, year and a half. It's kind of absurd. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Kosas Comfy Cloud Set Setting Powder. Um, oh, that's the shade. Comfy is the shade. It's the cloud set setting powder. This stuff is stunning, beautiful. I love it. It is such a pretty finish and it sets your makeup while giving it kind of that glow. Um, the finish of this or like the texture kind of reminds me of like the MAC mineralized skin finish powders, which I actually really, really love. Um, I'm not a huge MAC gal not as much as I used to be, but I do really, really love the finish of those powders and this stuff is really reminiscent to it, but I think a little bit better. So if you're on the hunt for kind of like a mineralized, like really pretty, just like soft, natural looking powder, this is a perfect one. And they actually just came out with mini sizes, so you don't even have to get the full one. For my bronzer today, I'm going to be going in with the Patrick Ta um, She's Sculpted Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I'm not going to cream contour today, um, but I'm going to use the bronzer and I'm actually going to take it on the Patrick Ta brush. I love this brush. It's like a really nice fan that just like fits in your cheekbone perfectly. So I'm gonna do a light dusting of that. I will say this does pack on the powder. I normally use it for cream because it's a little bit easier, but it's like, it's perfect for carving out your cheekbones. I love it. All right, so we are nicely bronze. I'm loving how this is looking. Um, I'm gonna take MAC Warm Soul and this is just a classic winner. It's like a pinky nude, and I'm gonna use this as my blush today. I think any tanner, I don't know that I would be able to get away with this, but for today, I think it's really pretty. And I am going across my nose as well to kind of give that natural sunburn effect that like fresh sun look i think i'm gonna go in with a little bit of love joy it's a deeper shade it's just i need more i need i'm i'm such a blush gal like i just i need the most so let's add a little bit of that on top there we go so i'm going to set my face now i like to do this in layers lately like finish my base, go to my eyes, finish off the rest of my details, and then set one more time. So I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I really like this because it's not too mattifying, but it doesn't make me greasy either. It just really makes my makeup last really long. And the mist on this is phenomenal. They know what they're doing. So it is time for the main event, what you're all here waiting for. We're doing eyes. So I'm going to start with, I think this light blue shade here called Airy. And I'm really interested to see how these perform because pastels are really, really tough. I'm just gonna focus this in the crease. And I'm really blowing this out and bringing it up pretty high on my brow bone. Yeah, this builds up really nicely, actually. At first, it's a little bit light, but it builds pretty well. I am going to take that onto my lower lash line as well. I want this to be 
super blown out. So to blend a little bit of this like top corner here, I'm gonna go into the shade Feather, which is this like light pinkish purple lavender color. And I think this is gonna be really pretty to kind of just like diffuse into my brow bone. Oh yeah, I like that. So it looks just like a smidge more natural. Okay, sorry about that. We just had like a storm roll in and it just got super cloudy all of a sudden. I don't know what is going on with my lighting, so I'm really sorry. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Bubble here, this stunning, stunning blue. Um, and this one is really creamy, so I'm excited to see... Oh my God, that's without a base or anything. It's so good. Like I said, I think with this palette, you definitely have to be really patient because you are working with pastels and pastels are some of the hardest colors to formulate. That and like purples are really, really difficult um, eyeshadows to press. So I think she did a good job making these more challenging ones like a creamier formula so that way they apply a lot nicer. But I will say with this palette, you definitely do need to have some patience and kind of work with it just because it's not super, super beginner friendly. You definitely have to build it up a little bit. But that being said, like if you do spend the time building it up, I've never seen a palette with colors like this before. And that alone, like, I love so much. So I'm definitely putting this in my keeper pile. And I think I will reach for it again. And I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush and kind of buff everything together. I do find that that lighter blue is kind of disappearing on me a little bit. Um, it is kind of fluffing away, but that's all right. There's enough there. I think next time I'm definitely gonna go in with like, with a better eyeshadow base, maybe like a P. Louise base or something. I didn't wanna do that today because I wanted to see how these kind of like performed like completely on their own. Look at that, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with the blue, it's so fun. I'm just gonna go in with a black liquid liner and I'm just gonna do just kind of a basic wing. This is uh, the uh, roller liner from Benefit, by the way. And I actually am going to, normally I just do kind of half a wing, but I am going to today um, take it all the way in, but just a very, very thin line, like so. So we get that kind of like feline cat eye. This makeup look is literally so freaking easy and I love it. It's giving me like kind of like mod, like 60s vibes. I'm here for it. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes and I am going to be applying some falsies today. Um, but I think I'm just going to do like a half lash. Taking my Essence Lash Princess. This is the best affordable mascara if you need one. Look no further. And I'm actually applying a lot of mascara because I want my lashes to be kind of clumpy and like grouped together kind of like giving that like twiggy doll eye effect almost if that makes sense. And then doing the same thing on my bottom lashes again just kind of clumping them together. which I know doesn't sound super appealing, but I think it just kind of complements the look really nicely. I normally don't do any bottom mascara. I think it looks crazy on me, but I am loving how this is coming out. So for lashes, I think I'm just gonna go in with these super inexpensive, cheap Amazon ones. Honestly, I don't know what brand these are. Pau, Pau Tenero, Pau Tenero, I have, I have, I have no clue. Oh, and there's two packs here. Um, okay, and we're just going to cut these in half. I'm just gonna go like, I'm not even gonna measure. I'm just gonna straight like have these and I'm gonna use the shorter piece. Half lashes are my favorite, A, because they're so pretty and like I love the style that like feline, like elongated almond eye, like the fox eye trend, I think is so beautiful and so flattering and then they're also 
so freaking easy to apply. While my lash glue dries on my band a little bit, I'm gonna go in with my Refi Brow Gel Glue because I'm looking a little bit scary with no brows on. Sometimes I do this before my foundation, sometimes I do it after, it honestly really depends. But this stuff is really, really good, but it's very, very goopy, and I find if I use too much, it gets a little bit white and flaky. Um, so I like to actually scrape the majority of the product off and then I'm just going to run it through my brows the opposite direction to really coat everything nicely and then I'm gonna go ahead and just comb through. All right, so I just stuck my half lashes on and finished up my brows off camera. I used, like I said, the Refi Brow Gel and then um, I went in with the Refi um, Brow Pencil thing. I don't know, what is this called? Yeah, the brow pencil and then this NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's like just like a felt tip pen that I kind of draw in some brow hairs with. So I wanted to do a little bit of a thicker, bolder brow with this look and we are in the home stretch. So to finish off our face, I'm gonna go in with highlights and I'm gonna use kind of a fun highlight today just because I feel like we need a little something extra. So this is the Freck Slime Light Hologram Highlighter and I have mine in the shade Space Face. It's really cool. It's like a purpley iridescent like bluish kind of. It looks really pretty if you have a little bit of a glow or a tan. So I'm just taking a teeny tiny bit there. You can't even see it on my hand and it looks it like shifts like that and it's really really cool but I like it because it doesn't look like aggressive on the skin like you can't really tell that it's like a purple blue highlight and I think it's just something that's a little bit fun like just a little color shift to go along with our blue eye makeup. So for lips, I'm gonna just do kind of like a nudish brown color and the sun is leaving me yet again. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. If you wanna experiment with like overdrawing your lips or like starting to overdraw your lips, this is such a good one because it's like your lip color but just a little bit pinker so it looks super natural. For lipstick today I'm gonna go in with the Kim K 90 style. I don't know if these are still available or if you can get these but it's like a pinky nude. Um, I feel like there's so many pinky nudes out there nowadays that like it obviously doesn't need to be this exact one. And then lastly I'm gonna take this infallible plump pro gloss. Um, this is in the shade Radiant Mauve. It's kind of like a deeper brownish color. I'm just gonna pat a little bit of that on. Last step is our final setting. Alrighty, so this is the final look using the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. I think this is so fun and so pretty. I really like it because it's a pop of color, but I think it's still super wearable. Like if you're not one that like wants to wear lime green and purple on your eyes, like this is kind of soft and blend it out. I'm definitely gonna be reaching for this more. Like I said, I really wanna play around with some of the pinks and purples and I just, there's so many good shades in here. Um, these are a little bit pricier, but I did get mine during the Sephora sale, which was really, really nice. So I'm really glad that I was able to snag this and I'm gonna continue to use it. Um, if you guys want more looks using this, if you want me to film some more, let me know. I'd be more than happy to play around with it a little bit further. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one.